<laughs> hey guys, for today's video I want to talk about a game that I finished about a month ago called Butterfly Soup. So the reason I picked this game up was, was during Pride Month and the reason I played it was because I had heard a lot of really, really good things about it. It was the best visual novel of 2017. Some other stuff, so I really wanted to play it and then I had seen it was free. So I thought, hey, why not give it a shot, you know? So the game was created by Brianna Lay in 2017. It's set in 2008 and it follows the story of these four young girls who play baseball in high school. And the reason the game was so attractive to me was because it was about gays. And the reason that was important to me was because I wanted to play it during Pride Month and I kind of just wanted to have like this game about gay people in a kind of representative way. So that's why I kind of got into it. Holly Gay, you should read it. You say that like I'd be interested in it just because it's gay. Yes. Read this fucking part. You say that like I'd be interested just because it's gay. Yeah. We are not. Good gay stuff is hard to come by. But once I started playing the game, it was a lot more about like a coming of age story than just the girl's sexual orientation, which is really neat. One of the characters, Min, has a lot of trouble with her parents. Actually, two of the girls have like a really, really rocky relationship with their parents. And one of the girls has this really like, st like study all the time, academic tiger mom. What did you get on the math test? An A minus? A minus? Why not A? And uh, one of the other girls um, actually has like this really like violent relationship with her parents. It's kind of cool to, to visit. One of the other girls, Akarsha, sorry, I can't really remember a lot of their names. So Akarsha is one of the girls who's actually bi, who is this really outgoing, really goofy character who I really like. She had a lot of the, the best one-liners in the game. My classmate Akarsha messaged me. Hey, Dia. Hey. Hey. Hey, Dia. <laughs> what? What do you call a lesbian with long nails? Oh, I know this one. I know this one. Just kidding. Single? Ah! I didn't know this one! <laughs> of course. Until one of the other things I really liked was Dia, who is the, I guess the main character of the story, even though you play through all the storylines. Dia's story is a little interesting too because she doesn't start off a gay. She kind of discovers herself through the entire story. Could it be that I'm, I'm a, a les, lesbian, lesbian, girls. But it's not just their sexuality that sets them apart. They have this kind of group that gets closer together the more they hang out and the more they play in these baseball games. So it is an indie game. It is, like I said, it's free. You can pay what you want for it. I'll put the link in the description below. That way you guys can check it out. One of the things this game is not is a dating sim. So if you guys are interested in starting a game and picking who you want to date, that is not what this game is. So it's classified as a visual novel but more specifically it is what's known as a kinetic visual novel the story is very very linear and there's choices in the game but no control where the story goes so there's no set number of endings there's no like choice in who you end up with kind of thing it's just you following the story of these girls but one of the things i did like and didn't like was like the memeness, meme, memeiness of the game, and how over exaggerated it was with Min Sale, who is one of the Korean characters who has like a really violent relationship with her parents. Who at the very beginning of the game, they go to a baseball game, and um, the description of the story is where she violently attacks people with bats, and it's just kind of a one liner, very funny kind of throw away a line but it just kind of distracted me for a second from the story hey grandpa give us popcorn or else men is so brave you better pay up these are ten dollars a bucket ten dollars 
What a ripoff! Min hit the man in the groin with her bat. Oof. The man sinks to the ground as if he's been shot. <gasps> Min grabs the popcorn bucket out of his tray. I got it! Let's go! What the hell? This psycho! That was really random. That was really weird. Why are there no repercussions for her just randomly attacking people with uh, bats or her attacking people with knives or throwing shit at people? That was really weird. She kind of seemed like a caricature. Caricature? Caricature. Like a, yeah, like a caricature of like just the angsty teen. And I actually have been saying, referring to her the whole time I've been talking about this game, but there is a point in the game where she makes a point not to use any gender specific bathroom. She goes out of her way to find a family bathroom, but the game still refers to her as her. So that's kind of where I'm taking that from. So yeah, some of the, some of the parts I didn't really like of the, of the game were like the over exaggerated meme scenes kind of distracted me from the story it really pulled me out of the game the graphics were okay they were kind of like almost painted like like a type of watercolor that i kind of liked but the backgrounds were a little distracting a little too realistic too different from the character designs but the music and sound was cute it did kind of have that little that little text sound when someone was speaking or when the descriptions were being said there is like zero gameplay really like i said you don't have a lot of choices in the way the story goes you actually don't have any choices in the way the story goes there are certain dialogue choices that you can make but they don't affect the story in any way and in fact you can instantly rewind using like your mouse scroll button to choose something different and it changes like one or two scenes the game honestly is a very sh uh it's pretty short it's maybe about four, three to four hours, depending on how fast you can read. It took me, honestly, it took me over five hours because I streamed it live for all of you and I was reading it out loud, which I think kind of slowed me down a lot. We were also like talking and joking with chat. Dude, that's me in blue right there. Me, Akarsha is me trying to explain some multi-dimensional reality stuff. And Noel is just blue like. By the way, guys, I do stream on twitch.tv slash chunky panda Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays starting at 9 Mountain Time. If you guys are interested, go ahead and follow me there. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on this video for more reviews. I'm actually going to be starting to review a lot more of the indie games that I play on stream. The story was really cute. I liked it a lot. Um, Dia is a really, really cute character. Min, although she was really uh, like kind of comedic, kind of funny, her relationship with Dia was really cute in the sense that Dia was like the good, the good sweet side to kind of balance out Min Seo's chaotic evil side. So their story was really cute, but you don't start getting to a lot of the good story, the juicy story parts until the end, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Dia! It's you! Min hugs her. Oh my god, that pose. Do we have to hug on the floor like this? Screams in gay. There's not much replay value in it either, which was kind of um, disappointing for me. I like playing visual novels because I like knowing what the different options are, what the different endings are, and this one doesn't really have anything like that. I did say I enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend you guys try it if you're interested in just kind of checking it out. Like I said, it's a quick play. It's about four hours long, maybe three if you kind of rush it. It is really cute. The story is really good. For, for what it is, it definitely seems like the developer's like first shot at a visual novel. I do hear that there is going to be a Butterfly Soup 2, which is kind of exciting. I am interested in seeing like where Dia and Minseo's relationship goes, especially at the end. You kind of see them starting a little puppy family. I definitely want to see more about the other cast members, like Akarsha, she was really, really cute. So I definitely do want to see more of her story, especially because we didn't get too many backstory from her in this game. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. If you guys have played it, let me know what your favorite parts were. If you haven't, let me know if you check it out, let me know what you think. And if you have any other reviews or recommendations for games for me to play, 
either on YouTube or on Twitch. Let me know down below. And that's all I got, guys. Deuces.